Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now, Daddy will show you a South Korean comedy romance film from 2012, titled Whatcha Wearin'. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The film starts with a man named Yun Sung who is hanging out with his friends and, oddly enough, his ex, Seyeon. He follows her outside after she leaves. He looks surprised when he saw her has a new boyfriend. Not like him, Seyeon has moved on. He returns to the bar and tells his friends that they dated for seven years but she immediately moved on after they broke up. What surprised him even more was that his friends already knew and had met her new boyfriend. Angry with them, he starts criticizes them one by one, then flips the table when he learns that her new boyfriend has more money. After that, he has sex with a Seyeon. Turns out it just a nasty dream. Suddenly, Yun Sung receives a phone call. It's from a girl named Yoon Yoon. She requests that he remain silent and follow her instructions. He concurs. She then goes into depth about what she's doing with her the JJ, and when he attempts to stop her, she warns him not to speak. She then keeps talking, describing what she wants to do to with his wiener. She asks him to talk after he finished jerk off. After he finished, he begins to talk and realizes she called a wrong number. He also mistook her for a call girl. She panics and call her boyfriend and find out he is sleeping. One evening at the restaurant, the waiter congratulates her after he discovers the ring box. He then requests a tip in order to plan a surprise for them. After staring at the box all evening, Yoon Young's boyfriend asks her to open it. The waiter plays love music, but when she opens the box, she discovers that gift contains a hair clip rather than a ring. She is disappointed. In the meantime, Yun Sung calls her ex's number, but her boyfriend answers, and he overhears them laughing. He starts crying as he reminisces their time together. When he wants to erase her number, he sees the call girl's number and calls her. He screams at Yoon Young, claiming that all women are psychopaths and merely a whole. She interrupts him and tells him he's not just a crazy, but also a pervert. As they continue to trash each other, he threatens to report her as a harasser. So, she apologizes, claiming that she mistook him for her lover. Then, he talks about his ex and begins to cry on the phone. She tells him to stop crying and listen to his story instead. He then goes on to add that he will never forget her because their love was genuine. She advises him to discuss the negative aspects of their relationship so that he may move on like his ex. At the end of the conversation, Yun Sung tells her that it was his first time doing phone sex and that he enjoyed it. Yoon Young is relieved. For her boyfriend, Yoon Young dresses in a white t-shirt and lingerie. When she tries to seduce him, he says he's busy and wants to finish his work. She calls Yun Sung and tells him about it, but he chuckles at her. One night, Yun Sung reminisces when his ex seduces him. He calls Yoon Young to have a phone sex. She starts moaning and he begins to jerking off. One day, Yun Sung asks Yoon Young if they should meet. She refuses by claim, however, that they can only be this open because they never meet. Then she asks if he's ever cheated on his ex, he replies that he hasn't. He then asks has her boyfriend ever cheated on her. Yoon Young recalls seeing her lover with another girl one night. However, she replies that her lover has never cheated on her. Yoon Young goes with her boyfriend and co-workers to supper. She notices a girl employee and recalls seeing her with her boyfriend. Then. She fantasizes of making a scene and ending their relationship, but she lacks the courage to do it. Meanwhile, Yun Sung goes to the movies with a co-worker and sees his ex with her new boyfriend. He becomes despondent, and his date abandons him. Because of the awful evening, they confide in the phone. She asks him to meet. For the first time finally they meet. Yun Sung awestruck when he saw Yoon Young because she is pretty. The two then head to a motel and make out. But just as things are about to become serious, she pulls him aside and tells him she can't cheat on her boyfriend. They converse on the phone while sitting next to one other. She says that she expected to be someone remarkable at this age, but she is just average. He claims that an average girl would not engage in phone sex with a stranger. The two then have a good makeout session beneath the blankets. In the car, Yoon Young asks her boyfriend to be honest with her about whether he has ever kept something from her. He becomes defensive, claiming that he is not required to give her a report. Later that night, Yun Sung calls her and tells that his ex wishes to meet, but he is concerned that she will not be the same person he knew. Yun Young counseled him to keep his calm and forget about his sad past. 
As a result, he puts on his great suit and looks like a successful busy man. But when they start talking, he gets nervous. At night, while reigning Yun Sung calls Yoon Yun to meet. When she notices he is crying, she hugs him. She then takes him to his home. He begins to inform her about his meeting with his ex. He claims that he made a fool of himself by asking how large her new boyfriend's wiener was. His ex replied that her new boyfriend has a 9-inch wiener. It drives him insane just thinking about it. She comforts him by reassuring him that his wiener is larger than Yoon Young's boyfriend. Then, he always thinks Yoon Young has a great moaning voice, so he records her moaning and remixes it with music. She encourages him to continue making music because he is gifted. The next morning, the two are having breakfast. When she sees her former colleague there, she tries to hide but is caught. Her former colleague mocks her for quitting her job to get married but yet being unable to do so. Yun Sung interrupts them and returns to her table, claiming to be Yoon Young's fiancé. He then says that she's ugly and has the appearance of a sea turtle. Yoon Young is furious with him, but she believes what he stated about his colleague to be genuine. He advises her to quit thinking of herself as a pitiful single elderly lady and instead love herself since she is a great person who deserves to be loved. She kisses him after hearing that. Yoon Young's boyfriend tries to make out with her in the car, but she refuses because she isn't in the mood. She apologizes, but she is enraged, as if she owes him her ass. Later, Yoon Young calls Yun Sung and requests to stop meeting since it is inappropriate. She requests that they remain friends. He calls her and tells that he doesn't want to be just friends. But her boyfriend spots her. He grabs her phone and talks to him. Yun Sung, posing as a stranger whom she has inadvertently dialed. He rants at his boyfriend telling him that she continues confusing his number for his, and her boyfriend apologizes. To make she feel better, her boyfriend apologizes for believing she was cheating and proposes to her. This is all she ever wanted so she accepts it. She then texts Yun Sung to informs him. After that, Sa Yin comes to see him and informs him that she has broken up with her new boyfriend. She also expresses her inability to forget about him. Yun Yun is out shopping for her wedding but becomes unhappy. She rushes off to take calls and meets with Yun Sung, but she notices with his ex. She pretends to be his friend and congratulates him for getting back together. She then cruelly hands him a wedding invitation and requests that they attend. He congrats him because her dream now has almost come true. But later, while on a date with So Yin, he abruptly stops and apologizes. He is unable to deceive himself. He is in love with Yun Yun. He runs as fast as he can heads to her wedding. Meanwhile, in the ceremony Yoon Young sees his boyfriend affair. This girl has a gut to comes to her affair's wedding. Finally, he arrives. He interrupts the wedding by singing a lewd song about his relationship with Yoon Young that he wrote. The wedding guests were taken aback by the song. After hitting him, her boyfriend asks her to explain the matter. She admits that she cheated on him and then returns his ring, stating that she is not sorry for anything. She then informs him that she is aware of his affair with one of his employees. After that, she flees the wedding. She thanks Yun Sung for stopping the stupid wedding. Then, he says he loves her but she says she doesn't believe in love anymore and walks away. A few months later, Yun Young returned to work and reorganized her life. On Christmas Eve, she settles down to listen to Yun Sung's Missouri show on the radio. She then uses her friend's name to call the show. She starts singing to his song that he wrote and sang on her wedding day. Her voice was recognized by Yun Sung. After that, she expresses her regret for letting him go, and just as she was about to confess her love, he stops her and asks about what panties she is wearing. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.